Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today I got my trumpet out to warn pastors in America, in particular youth pastors and those who have put young men and women in positions of leadership over youth in their fellowships. The Bible clearly forbids novice to be put in positions of leadership. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 3, starting at verse 6, Paul wrote a letter to Timothy, who was the young pastor in Ephesus. But what we must understand is that it has been said by scholars that Timothy was not a young, young man. He was not in his 20s or 30s. My studies have rendered that Timothy was, some believe he was like towards his late 40s. But, but here is the, the serious problem that we're having in America. There are many people, my friends, who are leading our youth. These, these, these men and these women are carnal. They are worldly. They promote uh, self-expression. They promote materialism. You'll see these young pastors very, very provocative in their attire. They, they are. Uh, come on now. I, I. We talk about women being modest, but you'll find these young men who are very uh, fashion conscious. They wear their low rider jeans. They sag. They wear their tattoo bodies with their sleeves rolled up. We see all their tats. We see them using street language, trying to quote, relate to the youth. But instead of raising the bar of holiness and righteousness, they lower it down to be like them. And so what has happened, you have a lot of young people who are confused, who are steeped in sin. And when they come to the apostate churches where these young men and women are there as their youth pastors, they bring in 99% of the time, you will find these churches who have embraced the false motion uh, or, or notion rather that there is a such thing as Christian holy hip hop, you will find that these pastors promote rap music. I already just did that video on the deception of holy hip hop and why we should get rid of it. It is dangerous. My, my son, who is a teenager, was going to a friend's church. My son, his best friend goes to this church that I, I, I had questions about this church. So my son, because he was going and loved it, I went to visit. And what I found, my friend, even though these are beautiful people, but f listen, friends, you can't, you can't put your hand on a, on a, on a plow and you have not been sent to do so. The pastor was being worshiped by the people. He was very great speaker, but they were worshiping this pastor, young man himself. They preached the false doctrine of tithing. Yes, false doctrine of tithing. I'm not going to exhaust that, but you can, for some of you who may just come on the channel, please, unless you have um, uh, given the Holy Spirit the liberty to teach you about who Jesus Christ really is and what he did on the day of Calvary, you can easily be beguiled by false teachers on this false doctrine of tithing. So they were really, really into that false doctrine of tithing. Please go check out my five videos. I've done exhaustive teachings on, on this false doctrine of tithing. But this was going on in this church. But worse than that was the youth pastor had a spirit of heaviness. He dealt with, this, this young man was depressed. There was nothing about him that revealed spiritually that he even knew God. But he knew the Bible. 
But this young man, my son was starting to complain. He would say, Ma, I don't think pastor so-and-so know what he's doing. I don't even think he a pastor. So of course, because this is my son, I need to meet these people. This young man was dealing with serious identity problems. He didn't even know who he was, but he was the youth pastor full of depression. So we called a meeting so I could speak to his pastors, two of them, the one that they worship, the new pastor that was just installed, him and the older elder pastor put this little 26-year-old in charge of the youth. And I had to, I said to the young man first privately that you're not a pastor, young man. I don't care what your pastor said. You don't have the fruit of the spirit. You, God wants you to know him. He wants you to have his joy. You are depressed and you have an identity. You're, my son, my son is a very strong personality, just like his mama. But my son could discern something was wrong with this young man who also was not a good teacher of the scriptures, nor my, this was my son's number one complaint. He don't talk about hell, ma. He don't tell us nothing about nothing. We don't talk about sex. We don't talk about nothing. In other words, to my son, the things that I teach him because I'm his mom. So my son knows how to spot this stuff because he been with me. Friends, it was horrible. I tried to warn the young man, you are going to destroy yourself because soon it was revealed. He's trying to appease and please these two pastors that installed him. So now you're not doing this for the glory of God. You're doing this to be relevant and to be stroked by these two men that put this young man here in opposition of the admonition and in, in the scripture I just gave you where Paul told Timothy, don't put novice in positions of leadership lest they become just like Satan, our adversary, lifted up with pride. Oh, because he had the flip side of this young man was pride. And it was, it was brought to my attention because my son, he wants to, he wants to be involved. He wants to know that his friends are okay. He says, Ma, we're having a competition at the church. It's called the spoken word competition. So the church was hosting an open mic which I just did a video. It is not of God, my friend. Any church that has an open mic, run. This is foolishness. But the young lady who was my son's friend also who went to this youth group, she was 16 years old. My son said, Ma, would you speak to so-and-so because she is suicidal. She want to kill herself. I said, has she spoke to the pastor? Now, this before I had the meeting to tell these two pastors that y'all hurting this young man and you need to sit him down. He needs help. He don't know Jesus. He don't have the Holy Ghost. He don't have no fruits of the spirit. My son tells me the girl is suicidal. She's 16 and she has been traveling around the nation as a poet, as one to release lyrics receiving awards, secular awards. And the pastors at my son's friend's church was the number one influence and cheerleader of this young girl whose soul was being devoured. Why? Because spoken word, my friend, poetry is not ungodly. It's nothing wrong with laying your thoughts down, nothing at all. But the problem comes in when you start competing to orate lyrically, poetically. That's where the sin is. So my son wants to have get in this competition. The Lord said, uh-uh, no, mm -mm, we're not doing that. Because what happens, my friend, when these young people, the purpose of them having this open mic was to give them something to do. We are deceived. And you young pastors that's promoting all this open mic and all these ungodly behaviors and fashions and trends, you are deceived. 
And if you are listening and watching this video, you need to send it to your pastors because they need a whooping because they are promoting the very thing Paul said not to do. And that is pushing young people who are new in the faith, who have not yet come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You have not had an experience with the living Christ. There is no fruit of peace and joy and hope and faith in your life. You don't, listen, my son was always complaining. He's not teaching us nothing, mom. He's not challenging us about nothing. Then would put the icing on the cake. And uh, I had to call a meeting. My son went to an event where their church went to another church and the young pastor of the other church shows up with an earring in his ear preaching to my son and his friends in the other church. My son came straight home and said, Ma, I'm a little confused. We went to visit another church and the, the youth pastor had an earring in his ear. My friends, I'm not going to make an argument about earrings, but I will tell you this because that not on this not on this video. <laughs> I'm not talking about earrings. But you not going to convince Sister Sharon on no day of the week that any man of God that puts an earring in his ear and stand in front of these youth, Jesus sent them. You are deceived. You are worldly. You are carnal. And you do not understand to whom much is given, more is required of you far as I know, when a man puts an earring in his ear in the 70s, the man with the one earring, he was always associated as being a pimp, a playboy. Now we understand when a man has two earrings in the underground world of perversion, he is a bisexual. He sleep with men and women. And when these men go into the underground, when they put those two earrings in their ears, what they're saying is, I'm available. So if it's anybody down here at this club, you want to get with me, <laughs> I do both. Oh, yes. So my son is sitting here looking at this so-called youth pastor, good speaker, that's all he was. Had no clue that what he was doing when you are not being aware that young people are very impressionable, that you would stand up there looking like a pimp daddy with your little earring and your tat showing, you are, you are deceived, every last one of you, and you need to sit yourselves down before God deal with you because if you really believe and you belong to him, you're going to get a whooping. You are hurting these young people. You are hurting yourself. This young man was so depressed that my son's youth pastor, it, and I'm thinking, y'all can't see that this young man deal with depression? He was probably, friends, now the two pastors, follow me, they, could, they had no discernment that this young man that was, quote, my son's youth pastor, my son, he denounced all of them, all of it. My son got, he, he, he got all that up out of his spirit, that this is the workings of an apostate church. There is no special God or salvation for young people. You have to live holy or you're not going to make it. And if the youth are being uh, led by carnal, worldly, ungodly, unholy men and women walking around just like the world, your youth are an endangered spe species, friends, human species, the youth. So the warning is to you pastors, you're putting these novice in leadership you are harming them. You are causing many of them to fall privately and God will hold it to your account. 
There is no special salvation because you 14. You got to put away your sin just like everybody else if you want to get in. You got to walk the straight and the narrow. And by the way, the young lady that was suicidal who was getting ready to head up this poetry open mic is still messed up, friend, because her youth pastor and the pastor of that church where my son would attend is still promoting secular uh, works of darkness. Secular means to be without God. They have bought this into their fellowships. And these kids is on all types of psych drugs. They've been in psychiatric wards. My, my son done visited a couple of his friends that done half went to psych wards. Why? Because their pastors and their youth pastors are apostate, promoting ungodly behaviors, competitions, that it is sin. Emulation is sin. It is to compete, to outdo, and to be better than your fellow man. It is sin. And that is exactly what is being promoted in these apostate churches, my friend. Get your children, get your youth, get your young uh, people out of these churches. You teach them who God is, friend. Until God bring you in fellowship with true believers, you're supposed to be teaching your children. How in the world you going to send them off for a youth group for 45 minutes to an hour one week and think that's teaching them God? We are in charge of our children, friends. Not an ungodly, arrogant don't know Jesus, don't know God, don't have no Holy Ghost, youth pastor, stimulating your children's flesh, because that's what they're doing, my friend. Have mercy on us all today. And he or she that has an ear, let them hear what the Holy Ghost just said to us. My friends, wake up. Wake up. In Jesus' name, let it be so. God bless you, my friend.